Greetings. Welcome back to the channel if you're a subscriber. And if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for taking the time to view this video. And I hope that you're going to receive something from what I'm sharing today. Today, I thought I would start with a recipe. A few days ago, uh, I was asked to share recipes. And so I'm going to start with a very simple lunch or snack recipe, as most of us need an energy boost in the afternoon. So here we are, a very basic recipe idea to elevate the nutritional benefits of a tuna sandwich. That's right, I'm just going to uh, share how you can elevate a tuna sandwich uh, so that you have more nutritional benefits, uh, as well as even some of the medicinal properties that are in herbs. The recipe I'm going to share with you serves approximately four. You'll need two five ounce cans of wild, solid white, unsalted albacore tuna in water. And you want this tuna to be certified sustainable. You're also going to need a half a cup of plain, 100% grass-fed Greek yogurt or hummus of your choice. And uh, if you don't want the one half cup, if you want a little less, if you want a little bit more, just to your desired consistency. You'll also need four tablespoons of minced fresh rosemary, two tablespoons of minced thyme, two stalks of celery chopped, snipped chives to your taste, green pepper chopped to your taste, onion chopped to your taste, and one tablespoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice. You'll also need some spinach leaves. This part is optional. The high quality sea salt and organic black, forgive me, organic black peppercorns. You would use these to taste if you decide to add the salt and pepper to this recipe. And lastly, Ezekiel bread. Um, I prefer the cinnamon raisin, but Ezekiel bread, your choice, or another healthy bread of your choice. So what you're going to do is you're going to mix all the ingredients except the spinach leaves. And what you can do is then uh, take this uh, mix that you have and uh, top your bread with the mix and then top the tuna mix with your spinach leaves and now you have healthy tuna. I'm going to share with you some of the benefits of the recipe ingredients that I have um, I used in this healthy tuna recipe. Tuna, as you know, is uh, good for heart health. I'm not going to add all of the health benefits. I wouldn't be able to do that. I'm just going to give you just uh, a little bit of information for you to know just why I consider this to be a healthy recipe. And hopefully you'll go out and you'll research and get more information yourself. Again, tuna is a heart healthy uh, uh, fish. It's uh, rich in omega-3 fatty acids. We know that it is a good source of protein. It has uh, minerals vitamins uh, B6, B12. Yogurt uh, is again a good source of protein. It contains calcium, magnesium, potassium, but one of I think the most important uh, uh, properties in yogurt is the probiotics and we know that pro means uh, for biotics life and so the probiotics in uh, yogurt that contains active and live cultures is very good for your digestive system very good for your immune system rosemary is uh, full of antibacterial antioxidant antifungal anti-inflammatory properties it has iron and calcium fiber it's good for skin uh, it's good for memory thyme is full of vitamins a and c uh, it's a natural diuretic it's good for respiratory health it's good for your immune system celery is uh, also uh, full of antioxidants it um, has enzymes and vitamins and minerals uh, the same for the chives uh, green peppers have vitamins a and c and e 
B6, folate, potassium. You see why I'm calling this a healthy recipe. Onions are good for the immune system. Uh, onions are good for regulating your blood sugar. Onions are good for reducing inflammation in the body. Lemons, I, I just speak so much about lemons if you're uh, following me on any of my uh, channels. Uh, lemon juice, it's good for balancing the pH of the body. It's good for digestion. Of course, it's a good source of vitamin C. Spinach, a dark leafy uh, a vegetable, has zinc and vitamins A, C, E, K. It also contains the minerals magnesium and calcium. If you're going to use sea salt, you want a very high quality sea salt. It has minerals, uh, organic peppercorns, ground, and the Ezekiel bread. Ezekiel bread is a good uh, bread to consider because Ezekiel bread contains uh, a mixture of grains and legumes, and it doesn't contain any flour. So if you haven't tried Ezekiel bread, maybe just consider Ezekiel bread, but again, just a healthy bread. Uh, you can also have this salad without bread. Uh, bread is not uh, necessary. You can just eat it with more of the green leafy vegetables and, and just eat it more as a salad. Uh, I also wanted to add, uh, as it relates to the chives, uh, chives are a close relative of garlic and uh, chives have anti-inflammatory and antibiotic and antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, antimicrobial properties, and it's rich in minerals and phytonutrients. So many of these uh, ingredients in this recipe have ver many of the same properties. So it makes it a very healthy, uh, uh, a very, very healthy uh, meal. It, uh, it's going to give you energy and it's going to help to uh, sustain you. So consider this recipe. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. I'll have the recipe in the description box of this video and I welcome your comments. Again.